today we are making cherry almond. I have a combination of a wild cherry from Aztec and cherry almond from Nurture and I got rid of the cherry almond container. So sorry. Anyway, this has some vanillin in it, as you can guess. So, anyway, I'm going to do hot pink, really red, and I'm going to try Commitment in the main. This is from Soapbox Micas. Um, it's going to go darker than these colors. Let's just see what happens, okay? Here I have my my oils, my cream, my heavy cream, my oatmeal, my clays. <laughs> Next up, add my lye solution, which is aloe, um, Tesla silk, sodium hydroxide, and sea salt. Okay. up my fragrance oil and there's clay in here too and with the fragrance oil you can see how dark that fragrance oil is so I'm just wanting it to play nice so I already had one fragrance not play nice today <laughs> pink because I want pink to be majority at the top. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to try this commitment from Soapbox Micas. Like I said, it's got vanillin in it, so right, let's just bust this up real quick here. just sitting here thinking, do I really want to use my spatula? Maybe I should just use my finger. So I don't get the spatula all red, but that's okay. Alright guys. Let's pour this in. I think I'm going to do a hanger swirl. Clash with my cherries or hide my cherries. Come on. Oh, this smells so good, you guys. So good. Mm -mm -mm. I am loving it. I think it's one of the reasons I love soapy. The fragrances. Still gonna try to put a hanger through it though. Okay. 
Okay. Played very nicely. All right, guys, so I will bring you back for the piping. Hi, guys, welcome back. And we are going to pipe the cherry almond. And I just wanted to show you the color that the gold already turned. You can tell because in the piping it's going to look much lighter. So you can see what kind of, what the vanillin is already starting to do. Okay. Most of the piping is pink. Well, that's not true. I think it's probably about 50-50 between the pink and the gold. You'll start seeing more gold here in a second. I think. Maybe not. This pink's pretty overpowering. Okay. I'm really trying hard on uh, working hard on having my soaps and not be crooked because I tend to lean to one side some, for some reason. I tried facing it towards me. It's still crooked. So. Now, we'll just see. All right, let's see here. This cup is forever in my way. When I go to do the ends, it seems like that cup is always, always in the way. Okay. Now I'm going to put some snowflake sparkle on there. And I'll put my cherries on. And then I will put, yeah, this mold doesn't have any markings on it. Be honest with you, I don't think it matters. <laughs> I don't ever get them right anyway. I can't be right. No, it's not right. It's not right. What did I do? What did I do? Looks like I got these ones too far apart there. Maybe. See? That just does not matter. <laughs> markings, no markings, it don't matter. You just know you watch to see. If I will yet again. <laughs> Screw up invents. <laughs> okay, forget about it. It's all right, it's all good. I'm gonna put some iridescent on there so my cherries get some sparkle on them. Because hey, I love me some sparkle. All right, guys. And it's time for her close-up. Oh, that looks really crooked. I'm looking at it through the camera angle and it looks really crooked. But when I'm looking at it straight on, it doesn't look so crooked. Is it just me? Is it this? It might be the camera angle. I don't know. Whatever. I'll see you guys in a few seconds for the cut. Hi guys, welcome back. We're going to cut the, the cherry almond. And it cut perfect. It's inside. So pretty on the piece. And it smells so good. And I love the meat cutter. It's awesome.
You have to be married for you to get one. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. If you're interested in Wayne making a cutter, uh, go ahead and message me on Instagram, Facebook, email me. And maybe he can do that. Well, very kind of if there's enough interest, we'll put a listing on Etsy for it. It's a beautiful cutter. Look at all that shimmer, shimmer. <laughs> Is it cutting straight out? It's cutting perfectly straight, yes. Why? What's wrong? Nothing. Oh, this soap smells good, too. Oh, I think this needs to be tightened. Ooh, ooh. You don't want to cut your end bed, right? Did you uh -oh. just break it? Yes. <sighs> Seriously? Yeah, Seriously. Don't <sighs> the wire just broke. Oh. It's recording? Yeah. It's beautiful. Purdy, purdy, purdy. Yes. Don't cut the cherry. I cut a little bit of the cherry. It's okay. But it cut through it like a champ. Look okay. how so pretty. On top of where the adjustment, there's a little bit of the soap on the adjustment. Yeah, it's it? on the other side. Honey. Sorry. If so you look at the wood one, it is covered in soap up there. <laughs> covered. I try to make a, 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 her new cutter as super clean as I could. So. It's beautiful, honey. It's beautiful. That's That was the goal, guys. Try to make it as clean as possible. I know you've seen her use her wooden one. Um, For years, two years actually on that one. Yeah, we still have it. And, yeah. Yes, this is beautiful. It's and a it's so much easier to clean. Final piece. Should I turn a little bit so they can see more of you? Why? The machine? There we go. Or the, your, oh, you're done. Okay, guys. If you're interested in purchasing any of our Bath and Body products, the links are in the description box below. You can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. All those links are down below. And if you're interested in the beautiful soap cutter, <laughs> message me oh, you're on awesome, one of those buddy. platforms. And if there's enough interest, we will list it on Etsy. Wow. All right. Thank awesome. you guys so much and have a great day. Bye. See ya.